yo guys what's up it is me pro sniper here um uh today we're viewing uh lego city set number six zero 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 three um fire emergency set which is um this set is ages five to twelve um retails for twenty five pounds in the u k and uh has around about three hundred maybe three hundred odd pieces uh, so let's start by looking at the box and then um, I will just take a look at the actual set. So the front of the box is just displaying um, well what's included with the set. Um, just ignore this little sticker here, it's just um, some about security and there's nothing even... I don't know, I don't even know why they put that on the box, it's just something that Tesco loves to add to stuff that they sell. And the top of the box is just uh, showing you all the minifigs and uh, accessories as well. And on the back is just on the back is just showing you all the features of the set. Two seconds. There we go. Um so yeah that's it. Uh the set comes with um three minifigures, uh one fire engine, a little um, abandoned house that is on fire two instruction manuals and three three numbered bags and uh, bag number three has two smaller bags inside that the other two bag one and two only has one small bag so let's get started with the set and first we'll start with the minifigures um, so we'll just start with this guy first uh, I'll just bring my uh, I'll just uh, put the fire extinguisher over there um, so this is our first minifigure. We've seen him with quite a number of sets actually. We've seen him with the fire station and also the fire truck um, set that I've done reviewing when I was on holiday. Um, he has the same torso and back printing and face print, facial printing and well, helmet really. Uh, all these figures, um, the one bad thing about all these figures is they all have the same torso printing as each other so yeah they only have different face print and accessories. He comes with a um, fire axe um, so yeah I'll put him back in a minute uh, next we'll just review this guy I'll just show you this guy actually be a better way to put it uh, we've also seen this guy with the um, fire station as well and um, you know as I say they all have the same torso printing um, and back print as well but uh, he it says you he comes with this uh, the breathing apparatus and he tells you to give him a fire extinguisher. Uh, well, it says it, he comes with a fire extinguisher. Um, and this is face printing. Um, I like how they tell you to put the breathing apparatus on him, and you know, like he's just kind of might not notice that, but he's kind of got some sweat. Um, he's got some sweat just kind of dripping down him, so you know it makes more sense that. He is the one with the apparatus because he's like sweating, and you know, it probably would get hot with all that apparatus on. And then, obviously, your normal uniform. So, um, I just have him up there like that, and I'll just give him this that guy's fire extinguisher. Put it back there. And the third and final minifigure is another one we've seen with the fire emergency set. Which is uh, the female firefighter. Uh, she comes with a circle, circular bladed saw or cement saw, whatever. Same torso printing and back printing as all the other minifigures with this set, and also the same facial facial printing as the um, the one that comes with the fire fire station. So nothing really new. So that's it for the minifigures. Um, okay, we'll start with the um, start with the fire engine first. Uh, I'll just take this little guy off now. Uh, okay, just get him out. Just put him there, net, and I'll just roll up this. Okay, this is pretty awkward to roll up, so this might take a while. So I don't really like the size of um, 
the spool on this is just really, really small. And, you know, it's just kind of really, really awkward just to... Okay, so this is the fire engine that comes with the set. Um, it's uh, pretty much the same design. Uh, it's got the kind of same like kind of concept look. Well, the kind of look of the one that comes with the fire station. Only this one's a bit smaller and kind of more like has more of a shape to the front of it. Uh, the ladder um, the design is also just the same as the one that comes with the um, other set. Uh, this can also like seat two many figures, same as the other one. Has the opening doors, same as the other one. So it can open up like that. Um, but kind of the same problem with the driver part. It can only really seat one mini figure, either that or it's just too cramped and it's you can't really put this piece on. So that's the only thing about that. The design from this one, the design on this one, and the one that comes with the fire station. But it's still pretty nice um, to like have a fire engine like this, you know what I mean? Um, no, it's still pretty nice. Uh, so this is the front of it. Um, you know, I've got stickers here and bumper, which is just the set number. Uh, grill here, um, some lights here. Um, and then you've just got the front part, driver compartment. You know, I'll just take that off so you can see what it's like in there. Uh, and my camera just freezes. Don't tell me that. My wow, that actually worked a little. Um, so not really much and like to do with the driver's compartment. And you can take a minifigure. Um. And you can just put a minifigure in there like that. Stuff like that. Mm. Kind of awkward text and like fully close this sometimes. Uh, two seconds. I think I may know what's the problem. There we go. Uh, just like that. So it's just basically like that. Uh, done a nice little job with the design of the lights up here. Uh, kind of like that design. And uh, then the ladder just sits there like that. Well, there's only one problem with that. Um, so inside here, you notice we've got these kind of like bars. And I'll show you by there and there. And then you can store them. Um, we'll have too many figures just standing there with that. Hi, Daddy. So, you can have too many figures just standing there like that. And um, also, there's uh, some places to store um, some accessories. You've got um, two clip pieces here. If my laptop stops freezing. So you can have two accessories stored here. I hate this laptop. Uh, there's also two um, places to store. What the heck? There's a spot to store an accessory here and here, or you can just have your fire hose there. Um, and that's the part for the top of the um, hose with the. Um, uh, water piece on it, and I'll just show you what it's like with the accessories stuck on. So it just basically looks like that.
Only problem is, you can't exactly fully stick the ladder down when you've got two accessories there, so that's on the bad thing. And then moving on to the back, there's two stickers, there's that piece here and that piece there. And some brake lights, and then just the normal lights. Um, and then just have the same design for the ladder that comes with the uh, fire station, you know, kind of cool little pieces like that. And uh, you know, light just goes up like that. Uh, yeah. The heck was that? Yeah. See, and then it just goes back down like that. So you know, just kind of the same old design as um, yeah, the fire engine that comes with the. Uh, fire station, I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, that piece just falls off. Uh, I'll just get all the accessories off. And then I'll just put that back like that. Put it over there. I'll just give all the minifigures their accessories back. And then we'll move on to the abandoned house. Which we will be moving on to in just a couple of seconds. Just a couple of seconds. Uh, so now moving on to the little abandoned house, which is uh, actually a pretty nice little design. Um, let's just sit right here. Uh, uh, um, so as you can see, it's, uh, you know, just looks like a little abandoned house, boarded up windows and doors, um, kind of run down looking, um, with like these little tile pieces here, you'd think that there'd be more of them kind of in other places, but, you know, maybe they're falling off and that. Uh, yeah, got your little street lamp here, a uh, uh, little green, um, trash can, um, you can also take these pieces off and like open up the windows, same on both sides, just clip on with uh, one piece and I'll just need to fix that, there you go, I uh, can take that off, open the door um, to gain, so your firefighters can gain access, um, completely up to you how you can uh, how you do that, how you like what you like um, do. Um, so the front's pretty nicely detailed um, as you can see. Uh, well I think it's pretty nicely detailed. Um, then you've got the roof up here, you know, kinda nice little slope piece, kinda looks like kinda looks like it's um, been slated the way it kinda sticks out a wee bit. Um, and then you've got kinda like black pieces here and then the rest is all red. Um, and it's actually pretty nice because like the fire's just kinda burnt away all over here. And you know this piece is fine, so it's down there, but this is all just been burnt away. Um there's a little feature here, um, I'll show you that later. Um you know, I just got this little random piece here, don't know why they added that. Um and then this is this piece here. Uh that's just the back of it, you know, you've got your flames, all this random crap going on here. Don't know why that's there. And then you've just got this little open space which you could like maybe stick something in there, you know. Um, and then you've got your inside, which is just fairly empty looking, but, you know, I mean, you can customise it a little and, you know, just kind of add, like, chairs and maybe, like, a cooker or stove kind of thing in that in there, which is what I'm going to do um, later. And you also get this uh, little barrel with a little, um, I don't care, pull it all the way across my room, um, which you do get this little um, kind of brush piece. So, yeah, I'll put that there. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, you can get some, like, chairs and that and just kind of make a little, you know, a more detailed house and uh, maybe just add a little minifigure so we are kind of being called out to house fire, someone's chip pans went in fire and then they've tried to do something with it, like take the chip pan off the ring and instead of just set their heel up with some fire like a bunch of idiots. Would do. 
Um, so you know it's fairly empty looking, but I guess what the main like scenario hangs here is like this is an abandoned house. Um, you know maybe what's uh, happened is you know it's been abandoned for years. Uh, you know it's got a pretty nice little. Uh, um, there's these kind of like log pieces here, so it's kind of wood and um, stone, but you know that's kind of a bit of a hazard. And I'll explain why. So you know, I mean, it's just an abandoned house. You know, there's a heat wave going on. Sun's like really, really warm. And uh, well, this isn't. This house hasn't been used for years because it's just abandoned. You know, and you know it's just dried up. You know, there's there's no like kind of. It's just completely dry. You know, and like the sun's hit it. It's kind of just sun's been the heat from the sun's been too strong, and it's just well went in fire really um, and um, so yeah it's just went in fire and if they don't put that fire out here then if that spreads down to these little log pieces at the side then um, at the front there then that's a bit of a serious problem um, but yeah I'll just show you that main feature so you might notice there's this kind of little um, don't know what you would really call that piece a little technic piece connected to all of these this Technic axle that's got all these pieces on it with all this fire. Uh, so basically, um, if uh, first guy has been up on a series, uh, like that, put that like that there. That helps if I don't drop them. Put uh, that piece here. Put them up there. Um, so you just kind of sit and, you know, just putting out the fire. Casually just putting out the fire like that. If my laptop moves not. Um, so, you know, this is good playability for the kids. So instead of having to, like, take them out like that. And then, you know, like, when you're finished. When you're finished with your little scene, just kind of have you put them all back in like that. They've cleverly added uh, another little um, fun uh, little function that allows you to like have better playability with it, which is just turn this here, and it goes away like that. And um, then just left with, and then you're just uh, really left with that. So that's pretty nice. Um, or you can just like kind of. Act out the scene, you know, it's just kind of like that. Um, so, you know, that's a nice little feature they add then. Um, so, yeah, I think that's really it for this review. I think I've covered everything. No, we have not. Uh, these uh, PCs on the little boards here, um, it's kind of one thing that's kind of annoying. These are actually stickers, so that's kind of annoying. Um, you've got two numbered instruction booklets, um, one for the house and one for the fire engine. So yeah, that's about it for this set. So for so for twenty five pounds, you get a pretty nice little, little set. Um, some nice mini figures, uh, and you know something you can make a nice little scenario out of. Um, so that's about. So as I say, that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this, um, uh, well, if you like this video, um, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and uh, come back for some other, some more of my reviews and videos. So thanks for watching. Bye.